Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching the Today I Found Our YouTube channel. And in the video today, we're looking at that time that Dick Van Dyke was saved by porpoises while lost at sea. In his younger years, Dick Van Dyke frequently spent time surfing. In an appearance on The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, Van Dyke briefly mentioned one such time he was surfing using a 10-foot long board and fell asleep on it while floating out in the ocean. Went out and fell asleep on the board and woke up out of sight of land. I looked around and started paddling with the swells and I started seeing fins swimming around me and I thought, well, I'm dead. They turned out to be porpoises and they pushed me all the way back to shore. I'm not kidding. Bizarrely, Ferguson didn't choose to have Van Dyke elaborate on this remarkable tale and instead proceeded to make a few slightly less than humorous jokes and then used the remaining time in the segment to have Van Dyke play a harmonica. Van Dyke does not actually know how to play a harmonica. So unfortunately, I can't give you any further details about this, like when did it happen and would we have missed out on Dick Van Dyke's wonderful performances in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and Mary Poppins said the porpoises not helped him out, or was this after the fact? How far out did he estimate he was after they pushed him back to shore? Were they really porpoises, or was Van Dyke simply making the common slip of thinking dolphins are porpoises and vice versa? And also, where was he surfing at this time, and did he fall asleep on porpoise? In any event, for those of you who are curious, you can usually tell the difference between a porpoise and a dolphin on sight in a few different ways. First, porpoises have much shorter snouts that are also fairly flat at the end and easily distinguished from dolphin snouts. Less obvious at first glance is that their teeth have more of a spade shape than the conical shape of dolphin teeth. Porpoises also tend to be smaller than most types of dolphins. And now for some bonus facts. A man, Ronnie DeBaal, was once saved by dolphins after having his fishing boat capsized during a small storm. At the time, he was out of sight of land, and once his boat sunk, he grabbed onto some styrofoam to stay afloat. Eventually, a group of about 30 dolphins came along and took turns nudging him towards land for several hours, until he finally ended up exhausted on a beach about 24 hours after his boat sank. And in another story, on October 30th in 2004 in New Zealand, a pod of seven bottlenose dolphins rescued a group of young lifeguards from a great white shark. The dolphins first began acting strange, tightly circling and lapping the water next to the people, eventually herding them into a close group. It was then that one of the older lifeguards, Rob Howes, noticed the 9-10 to 10 foot great white shark swimming very close to them. The shark was being kept at bay by the dolphins. This encounter lasted a full 40 minutes, with the dolphins successfully fending off the shark and no one getting hurt. And another bonus fact. Dick Van Dyke once turned down becoming the host of a new game show, The Price is Right, in 1950. He later hosted such game shows as Mother's Day in 1958 and Laugh Line in 1959. And another bonus fact. At one time, Van Dyke was a Sunday school teacher. He even wrote a book about his experiences teaching Sunday school called Faith, Hope, and Hilarity, the child's eye of religion. And another bonus fact. Johnny Carson originally tried out for the role of Rob Petrie in what later became The Dick Van Dyke Show. Obviously, Van Dyke won the role. The show lasted five years, running from 1961 to 1966, winning 15 Emmy Awards in the process. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Also over there on the right are a couple of other videos that we've put together that you might enjoy if you've enjoyed this one. And thank you for watching.